can see I've got a malfunctioning washing machine. I'm not turning it off. What I'm going to do is turn it off at the breaker. So I did that, turn the breaker off. To get into the controls here, what I want to do is remove the timer and see if that's in the right position. What we got to do is pull this little tab down and then pull the controls forward. Same on both sides. Back here on the timer, it's got this little black post. What we want to do is pull that little post out. There we go. So pull the little release tab out. There it is. And then we'll pull the timer knob off and take a look. Make sure this is set in the right place. It appears like it was. But anyway, it's got a larger slot, and that larger slot needs to line up with the larger slot on the post here. So there's that, and then we put our keeper back in on top, and the little rounded side goes towards the left, and it just presses into place. Now our keeper's back in. So, look for any other wiring out of line here. May just be a bad timer. Time for a new timer. Oh man. Turn the breaker back on. Nothing turns off, period. That's not good. Okay, kind of break it back off. Okay, pulling this all apart. Looks like our wiring harness is bad. The timer also. Timing, timer, and wiring harness. All kinds of fun. Okay, get it going.